ladies, I'm back. Video number two. Okay, today, May 1st. Over the last couple of weeks, I would say maybe the last month, I've been poking around on YouTube and everything, and I came across this, Not it's not a new planner, but it's new to me, called Hobonichi Planner. And what that is, what it means is it's a popular Japanese brand notebook daily planner, and it comes straight from Japan. And Miss Vicki B here on YouTube, I was watching her videos, and she created her own. Now, you can go on the Hobonichi website, and you can purchase their book there, and all the pens and the covers and things like that. And it can get kind of expensive, but it all depends on how much money you want to spend on your planner. Um, but Miss Vicki B, she made her own, and she purchased a loose, or not a loose, but you know, a, a leather uh back book journal book that's very soft and pliable that's what I'm trying to say it's not a hard hard cover it's a soft cover leatherette uh, journal uh, with blank pages on the inside and she she created her own I mean it's not anything difficult okay anytime a company makes something you can do it yourself and so I was watching her make hers and so I decided to make my own however it was a thought-out process on going to start this planner I, I turned 50 last year, and so I decided I'm going to start putting things down on paper, creating and making my own journal. So um, I thought this Hobonichi planner would be the one. So as I was looking at the different things on YouTube and people making their own planners and things like that, I organized like Jen and, and a few other YouTubers here are madly in love with the Orla Keeley um, organizing set. So I decided I want my Hobonichi to be housed in a Orla Keeley, which is sold exclusively at Target. I went online to take a look at everything. And yes, it's kind of expensive and everything, but it's like, hey, you only go around this life once, so you might as well have a little fun while you're doing it. Did I really need to do that? No, but I wanted to because I liked the way it looked. Okay. It spoke to me. It made me move. So I purchased one Orla Keeley and it was too small for the notebook that I had. So I had to go back and exchange it for the bigger, the bigger Orla Keeley. And I'm, it turns out that I have to use the jewelry organizer, okay, the, the traveling jewelry organizer. So that, that's okay because my book is big because I told you I write big. I need a lot of room to, to write and stuff. So the thing that separates the Hobonichi from any other day planner is that you draw in it. You know, it, it's like you look at your day in a hole and you just jot down what you've learned that day or what stood out in your mind that day or what you saw and you're supposed to write about it and if you want to draw a picture about it you could do that uh, check it out hoboplanner.com and then go click on a couple of the links that they have in there and you can see people um, how they're journaling in their hobo planner and now this is different from your other daily planner as far as like um, you know, if it's for work or if it's for your crafting or, you know, whatever your hobby is. I mean, you could put that in here, but it's one day per page. This is a one day at a time planner. Yeah, you can spread your day over, you know, on two sheets if you want to, but it's really meant to just do a day a page. And it's something that you should Every day you should learn something, and that's what you're supposed to put into this Hobonichi planner. I mean, if it's, you know, you dropped your kids off to school for, you know, the very first time, you know, you just journal that real quick, and you kind of, like, draw a picture of them, you know, walking off to their class or, you know, their book, or you could put in there what you made for their lunch, you know, whatever that day is, or you went to go get your hair done, you went and had a massage, or you met your husband for lunch, or, you know, you're, you know, picking out the wedding dress for your daughter, whatever your day was as what you put in your Hobonichi planner. So let me get into everything. So this is the pattern that I chose for my Hobonichi planner of the Orla Keeley uh, set. Okay, this is the larger one. And while I was there, since I had to exchange the other one, I saw that they had the, you know, cosmetic cases that go along with it and everything. So I said, you know what, let me just go ahead and get the whole set because I could use this. I might give this away. Or I might use this as some traveling makeup or anything. Um, everything that I use right now that I travel is Brighton. If you haven't heard of Brighton, you can look up BrightonCollectibles.com or Brighton.com. It's a high-end 
a woman's uh, handbag accessory store. I used to work for them for four years and I have 92 of their of their handbags plus I have two full sets of their luggage. Um, I have their wine glasses, I have their martini glasses. Uh, I just love Brighton. And I purchased all that to pass down to my girls when they're interested in it. But anyway, so the Orla Keeley, I decided I'll just go ahead and get the whole set because I can even turn out to use it for the pens and everything, whatever, but I just wanted the whole set because that's how I operate. I gotta have the whole enchilada. So my Hobonichi planner is inside this Orla Keeley right here. Now my planner is a, a journal book that I bought from Walmart a few months ago and it was $12 and it opens up like this it's kind of heavy a little bit actually like i said it's a jewelry travel travel organizer it opens like this here is the handle for like if i was using it for traveling but this side i keep my pens and colored pencils on that side and then you open it up again it's kind of awkward because my book is too big but it fits in here and then there, the middle pocket, I have stickers, and what else do I have in there? Little notepads and stickers, as you can see, some of my Hello Kitty stuff, and some of these stickers that I um, just showed in my other video is going to be there. But here is my planner. I left the band on there. This was a $12 uh, planner from Target. It has 400 pages. It is a soft leather um, leatherette cover, and it just has blank pages on the inside, okay? It has blank pages on the inside. What I have done, I've gone in, let me just take the whole thing out so I don't have to mess with the. What I've done is to put it inside this organizer, I just separated the pages, I separated the book, and I just stuck it into this sleeve right here. So that's how my book is being held inside this planner right here, okay? And yes, it's kind of heavy, but it's not something that you carry around with you. This is something that I believe at the end of the day, when you're ready to go to bed, you want to reflect on your day and you fill out the information in your planner. Now, you could do it however you want. If you want to do it throughout the day as things are going on, but for me, it's going to happen at the end of the night when we've had dinner, we've had our shower, and it's time to go to bed. And it's just a matter of, you know what, it's time to reflect on the day and let me go ahead and start journaling in my, my Hobonichi. So basically, like I said, I just left the band on here, okay? So I can actually go ahead and take that off, but I'll just leave it on for video purposes. Now, of course, you know, you have your, your opening page here. I did leave the first few pages blank. I didn't do anything because I just might put some pictures of the family there, draw a few things, or, you know, write down my aspiration of what this book is going to be for me. So I left a few pages, just like Miss Vicki B did, and I thought that that was a good idea, and I'm glad I followed suit. It's not rocket science, ladies. It just isn't. And I think that's why I like it so much, is, you know, different from all the other planners and things like that. What it is, is at the top, you just have, and I, I need to fill it in because I'm doing it myself. You have the day, and then in this spot right here, you put, uh, you have the date, you put the day, and then in this little square here, you put like what the weather is. You know, if it was rainy, the temperature, um, the moon, you know, whatever you want to put right there. But that's what that's supposed to be to help you to remember what that day was. Was it rainy that day? Wherever you live, was it really windy? Uh, was it uh, very cold? You know, and that's what that square is for. So I have not finished. So your first square is the date. The second is the day. So I will put uh, Thursday. And then... Um, here is the weather. You put the temperature and you can put the moon or, you know, if it was, you know, full moon, you, and you, you draw it in. If it was a full moon, you, you fill in the moon. If it was like a three quarter moon, you do a three quarter moon. And then this, this space right here is for whatever you want. Now I use the wrong pen. So it bled through, but you know what? That's a small little thing to fix. I could just put like a sticker over it and I can write May right here, or I can put whatever I want, or I can I can write May um, down, you know, vertical right next to the, to the one right here. So, and that's it. 
that's your page right there. So now tonight, I'm going to put down that I did a YouTube video explaining my Hobonichi planner. I started it today and how excited I was and I'll draw a book and I'll put Hobonichi planner on it and then whatever great fun exciting things happen to me today. Okay, case in point, today at 530 I have a radio station meeting for a concert that we're putting on uh, Memorial Day weekend. So I'll put like maybe some headphones there um, signifying that I have a radio meeting. Um, also, too, I need to go down to AAA and um, switch over the registration on my car that I just got. So, you know, those are the things that are happening to me today. And that's what I would incorporate on this day. And then, you know, we flip over to the second. And then, again, same thing. I, you know, I have the second here. Then I would write Friday, and then I would put whatever the weather was and what, you know, the moon was or, you know, whatever the case may be, if it was windy, you know. And then again, you know, my numbers bled through, so I'll just put another sticker over there, and I'll just write something here. And then I will just journal what the second does for me, you know, what happened to me tomorrow. I have my, my radio show. I have my blog I need to do. So... Um, so that information would go on for the second. And, and that's what your Hobonichi Planner is all about. What it is, it's about journaling your daily life and incorporating illustrations. Now, I cannot draw to save my life. So there's going to be a lot of stick people on this Hobonichi Planner. But you want to know something? That's okay. This is just a daily journal in the life of DJ Sherry. And I love that idea. I love that idea. So... That's what that's all about. And then on the spine or, you know, on the uh, page edges, you just color the month. So you can actually, you know, you don't have tabs sticking out. So you could just go, okay, here's, you know, I started May. So May, June, July, August. Look, I just want to go to September. Boom. And then I just go to September, open it up. Now, I have not done my numbering up here. I just did it for the month of May. And as time goes on, I'll go through and I will, um, you know, put in the dates and the days for, for that month. And all that is color coordinated. Like this is red up here. So May is red. June is blue. July is purple, August is orange, September is pink, um, uh, October is brown, November is green, and December is um, a, a dark blue. So, and then I'll start again in January of 2015. And that's what I love about this. You can start this at any month that you want without it being pre-printed and throwing away, you know, going to go buy organizing um, organizers you know months and then you know you're starting it in the middle of the year and you're you got to buy the whole year so you throw half of it away and then you got to wait for them to print the next year before you can you know even start it so I like that idea you know and of course you can print your own things at any time but I just thought that that was a pretty cool thing and I wanted to share that with you and that was the purpose of buying the Hello Kitty crayon because you're going to color you're going to draw and you're going to color and so that's why I bought that and inside I'll show you the uh, different things that I also have as well remember I showed you this different color Hello Kitty pen pardon me my nose just started to run um, the different 12 different colors of ink in this pen right here they're very pastel -y. and then I just I put in a bunch of um, gel pens I got a bunch of gel pens and mechanical pencils and I bought uh, remember these erasers where you just advance it so there's gonna be a lot of erasing because I can't draw to save my life <laughs> you know you sketch it out first and then you you know trace it over with with the color and then you go back and you erase the pencil but I you know I put all these different gel pens and like I said I have the hello kitty pen and then I also have I went out and I bought some colored pencils so I've got the crayon I have the colored pencils I have the gel pens and it's just basically you know doodling as an adult and you're journaling your day your your life on a daily basis and um, it's going to be very fun to go back and take a look at all the different things that have happened that I've experienced I go back and go oh yeah that's what happened on that day and I'm really looking forward to it because we're going to uh, Vegas next week 
and um, I'll take this with me and you know I'll drive you know draw a car and the freeway and and all that stuff and maybe draw the um, welcome to the Las Vegas sign and stuff like that and I have a couple of Hello Kitty um, stamps in there so I can you know decorate my pages and like I said I have stickers and that was the purpose of buying these other stickers from Target as well is to incorporate those in the planner so not just in my other agendas you know for the business and everything and just for myself to stay more organized but it's to you know decorate the pages in the whole Hobonichi planner as well so that's what I wanted to share with you ladies that's my new thing that I'm I'm starting and um, I'm really looking forward to it and I can't wait to share with you in about two weeks to show you what my planner looks like and if it's something that you feel that you're interested in please take a look at them go to Hob Hobonichi you know Google Hobonichi planners and then um, when the Google page pops up, click the images and then take a look at all the different ones that people are doing. And it doesn't have to be as big as what I have. I mean, there are some that are like four by six. I mean, it could be any size that you want. And uh, if you want a real Hobonichi planner, you can get it right off their website. And But you can also, right here on YouTube, go to Miss Vicky B and look up her Hobonichi planner that she's doing and um, and take a look at how she's doing hers. It's pretty much the same concept. So just I, I invite you to check it out because I think it's just something different and fun to do. And it's just journaling and doodling, illustrating your life on a daily basis. And it's, it's a great way to look back and, and, you know, reminisce. So, well, that's it, ladies. Thank you so much once again listening to me ramble on. But I'm pretty excited about this. Um, consider making your own Hobonichi planner. This one right here, like I said, was $12 out of Walmart. And it has 400 pages, so I can do more than a whole year in here and that's what I really like and I know they have more of these so I think I'm gonna go and purchase at least three more just so I can have them on hand and like I said it doesn't have to be this size it could be any size that you want but I happen to like things big because I write big and this book does lay pretty flat and opens pretty flat on its own so that really helps me for the way that I write okay so there you have it ladies thank you so much Send me, uh, put a comment down below. Let me know if you think you're, are thinking about having a Hobonichi planner and, uh, um, and have fun with it. Okay. Thank you so much, ladies. I really appreciate you taking the time out and spending this time with me. So, uh, have a blessed day. I always want you to be blessed and I'll catch you at the next video. Bye-bye now.